This is my P. Machala or Machala that uh, should have a cricket. It's molted uh, about seven days ago. I'm going to rehouse it soon. Um, so I'll show you another feeding in about three or four days. Gonna give it a worm or a cockroach. All right, I'm just trying to catch this cricket that's alive. There you go. Oh, that's quite a good uh, close up of the colours there. Absolute stunner, this one. Hoping it's a female. But um, yeah, I'll show you this one again um, in its new enclosure in a few, few days' time. Okay, on to the next. So this is my uh, Aphonophelma Anax, which is, I'd say, a good ooh, inch and a half, perhaps two. Um, lovely looking at the moment. It's got a really nice um, sort of, well, Texas tan carapace. You can sort of see the, the leathery type, you know, the tan colour on its um, actual top part. And the rest of it's all kind of reddy and black and silky and she or he's doesn't like the light <laughs> right I might see uh, if it'll have a, a cricket and then I'm gonna rehouse it soon so um, you'll see it like my P. McCullough you'll see it um, uh, sort of be better well have more room so I'll be able to show you it feeding better Right, it's quite a small cricket. I tend to feed them sort of crickets. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, was hungry. And there you go. Absolute cutie. So I'm really starting to enjoy some of my tarantulas a lot more as they get bigger. And being able to show you close up filming and eating like this is um, is also a real joy. So yeah, there's my Aphonophelma anax. Really a beautiful tea. I do recommend this species of Aphonophelma. Um, being a bit skittish, but as they're getting, as or he, she, or he or she is getting older, is pretty chilled out and and good eater as well. All right, on to the next.